Okay, Paris Hilton is no stranger to the spotlight and apparently also no stranger to identifying potential winning investments. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance West Coast correspondent, Melody Hom. Melody, you had the chance uh, to speak with Hilton about her investing style. What did she have to tell you? Yeah, and Brian, of course, Paris Hilton can be seen as the OG influencer, right? So in many ways, she was always able to use whatever social media platforms, whatever outlets that she was given to kind of push a brand. So I asked her about some of the investments that she's made over the last couple of years, and what the common thread seems to be as she looks across her portfolio. Take a listen. I love investing into entrepreneurs that I believe in, in products that are sustainable, in health, wellness, longevity. And also I love getting advice from my boyfriend, Carter, because he has his VC fund and 13. So they have just so many amazing projects being sent to them every single day. So anything that is interest of, that would work with my brand, Carter and I are always talking about things every single day. So it's amazing to have a businessman as my partner and the love of my life because he just inspires me to even want to be an even better businesswoman than I am. Wow. So in the future, do you anticipate carving out sort of more of your money into the VC space? How do you think about how that portion of your life will continue to grow? Yes, I think it's really important just to invest into projects that I believe in, put my name behind them. And I don't know, there's just so many amazing projects out there. If they have the right funding, they could really just blow up. And just to call out a couple of the names that she's behind, uh, Sazi, I'm sure you're familiar with Daily Harvest, uh, those prepackaged smoothie sort of freezer combinations, M13, the VC fund she mentioned is behind that. They raised their seed round through M13. Then, of course, there's Glam App, which is very much like the Uber of all the 24-7 Glamifying right now. She actually was using Glam App prior to our interview, so you know that she does test out the products that she invests in. And, of course, the latest one is the plant-based seafood company called The Good Catch. So across the board, she's starting to dabble, right? Um, and it helps that M13 is a very consumer-facing portfolio. Uh, so in many ways, there are products that would be very familiar to her and that she could get behind. Yeah, she definitely gave a nice shout out to her uh, boyfriend Carter's VC fund in there, uh, Melody. But I know you also had a chance to talk to her about TikTok. And we know that Paris herself is a big influencer. So what did she think about uh, the saga surrounding TikTok? Yeah, let's think about the context here. So Paris Hilton is 39 years old, the simple life that smash hit show that debuted was in 2003. So she was 22 years old uh, at the time and there was no social media, right? There was no outlet. So now she's so bullish on this app TikTok, of course, that we've been covering at length, mostly for the geopolitical ramifications and the way that it has become a punching bag between the US and China. But she specifically said it is her favorite app bar none. Instagram is kind of a distant second, but mostly it's because of the variety, because of the sort of rawness and vulnerability that creators are able to show, perhaps in a way that she wasn't able to, right? When you think about the way that she had to really curate and craft her life, um, you know, the reason I actually spoke with her in the first place was because she is out with a documentary today that's supposed to kind of recreate her legacy because she feels like a lot of her life was a caricature in many ways, whether it's the that's hot phrase um, and a lot of the sort of blonde bimbo persona that she felt like she had to exemplify um, and show the world in order to be popular. I think TikTok is the polar opposite, right? There's a lot of sort of silliness, fun, people looking really, really um, disheveled and not really glamming up in the way that Paris Hilton has been used to. So I think it's just augmenting that part of her life perhaps that was missing. I do also want to point out that she is reportedly the highest paid female DJ in the world. So not only on TikTok, but on Triller, she participated in their virtual music festival earlier this year during the coronavirus pandemic. And that seems to be a sort of activity that she's really passionate about pursuing in the years to come. Wait a second, Melody. Simple Life was 2003. It feels yes. like yesterday. 17 years ago, Saz. Where were you when The Simple Life aired? I know uh, I was glued to my couch, um, sort of binging, even though I was a grown adult, I could not stop uh, you know, covertly watching the show because I knew it probably wasn't good for me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I think I was outside 7-Eleven trying to scrub an old English or something, but we'll leave it there. <laughs> Melody Hom, really great stuff.
Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.